Oh, holy shipmates. I thought we'd have a little look at the Queen Victoria. It is currently alongside here in the port of Southampton. Usually I film the ships moving, but today something slightly different. <laughs> in fact, I had you all fooled. It's the HMM Oslo. The second largest container ship in the world. Well, actually, that's a ever-changing list of sizes. And currently in June 2020, she is the second largest container ship in the world. And that is calculated by what they call TEUs, 20-foot equivalent units. Most of the containers that you can see on board are actually 40 foot, but historically they measure them by 20 foot equivalents. And for the HMM Oslo, what a beast she is, she has a capacity of 23,820 TEUs. Whereas the largest container ships are 23,964. Oh, she's missing out on a few containers. But her gross tonnage is actually 4,000 gross tons larger. So. Oh, it's, a, it's a lovely day here in the port. Uh, it's been tricky to try and film the HMM Oslo. She came in very early in the morning, about 2.30 in the morning. Conditions were not ideal. A bit of rain, quite windy, and of course dark. So I couldn't film when she came in. And she will be departing at 2 in the morning as well. And again, conditions look wet, windy, and very dark. So, unusually, I thought I would come and visit the dockside. I noticed here that you can see one of the, I don't even assume you call them deck plates, being lifted out to reveal even more containers below. It must be a logistical nightmare keeping track of all these containers and where they are, and where to put them and how to unload them. I'm sure it's all done by computers these days. The six largest container ships in the world are all owned and operated by HMM. And they're all named after ports. Copenhagen, Dublin, Gdansk, Oslo, Rotterdam, and Al Jazeera. The sister ship to the HMM Oslo, the HMM Al Jazeera, docked in London couple of weeks ago. Slightly higher TEU capacity. But part of the HMM fleet, HMM, is the Hyundai Merchant Marine. In case you're wondering. And is the world's ninth largest container line in terms of vessel capacity. They are the largest movers of South Korean exports and the number one Korean national container carrier. company. 
company was started back in the early 70s. They have a history of building larger ships. They certainly have the records now. That's not a bad shot. I quite like all the colourful containers. As you can see, the Port of Southampton operations appear to be normal. Not so much of a pandemic affecting the movements of goods. People still need their toilet rolls. Really is a tremendously massive festival. It's 400 meters long. this angle here but the bridge of the ship is considerably taller than the gantry cranes that are in containers. Really is very impressive. It takes me a long time to fly down to the other end. photo here. Wouldn't want to be in a small boat having that bearing down on you. Well, they say if you can't see the bridge, the bridge can't see you. I'm quite some distance from it and I can't see the bridge. A particularly unusual logo on the front of the ship. I, it's not often we see a logo on the bow like that. And the particular pinkness to the, well, I suppose I can best describe as the lower half of the ship, the area that's typically in the water. Otherwise looking very sharp and clean. No sign of rusting yet. This is a. It's actually quite difficult to get the ship in for a photograph. I have to really give it plenty of space. shot. Well, it's a pity we couldn't get her moving, but weather conditions are a drone pilot's worst enemy. Until next time, shipmates. <laughs>